Hi, I'm here in Jalan Basar. Uh, this is the birthplace of Singapore soccer. Uh, the stadium was originally opened in 1929 and the Singapore soccer team have been playing here ever since. So there's 88 years of soccer history right here, right here in this stadium. We're here tonight uh, while there's a match playing behind me here between uh, Singapore and Hong Kong. It's a friendly soccer match. Uh, if such a thing exists, of course. And uh, we're here uh, with 11 Sports Network with a new service offering from Ideal Systems. So Ideal Systems have a, a services division called Ideal Live. We launched it a couple of years ago. Uh, that service uh, involves bonded cellular uh, rental of the Jero systems. Uh, earlier this year, in 2017, we launched the uh, rental of the production systems for 360 VR. This is the latest addition that we're adding into the Ideal Live lineup, which is our uh, live sports uh, production system, which is a full in-a-box kit that can be brought to any stadium, set up quickly, and run with a very small amount of people. So it's a it's a very lean and efficient uh, live sports production system. So this system that we have set up here tonight uh, consists of four cameras. We've got two ENG cameras run with uh, regular cameramen and we've got two of these. So these are the latest JVC production pan tilt zoom cameras. So they might look like airport security cameras or shopping center security cameras, but in actual fact they're production HD cameras. And this little baby, when it zooms over, it can actually see the faces up close of the people on the other side of the stadium. So really, really good quality from these uh, JVC uh, PTZ cameras, uh, which are controlled in the control room all on the same system that we're doing the live production and the graphics and the replay. So we've got a single system, IT system, controlling the cameras, bringing in all the feeds, doing all the switching, doing all the graphics, doing the replay, doing the slow-mo, all run by one operator um, in, in the production room. So what it means now is we've got the other two cameras, the NG cameras, we've got cameramen, uh, remote cameras, but realistically with just two or three uh, on site, you can have a really high production quality at a fraction of the cost of what it used to cost to run a OB van roll, a whole bunch of people in that OB van, OB truck. Because after we've, we've aggregated the signal back from here and brought it through the production switcher, we're actually connecting into the Degero. Uh, so we got the full produced signal leaving the stadium, going back to 11 Sports Network's studio here in Singapore, ready to go and be uh, broadcast out. So this, uh, this is actually going out live uh, as we speak. Um, and uh, I'm going to take you uh, just for a quick look at the other cameras and a quick look in the control room so you can see uh, the system in action. But the system is uh, state-of-the-art, hasn't been used before. This is the first time that this type of all-in-one system has been used in Singapore. It's the first time it's been used for live production. Sort of stuff that people are becoming accustomed to from the idea live services is that we're taking the next generation technologies, the cutting edge technologies, and making it more efficient to run productions and to, in this particular case, even a friendly, we can do a very convincing four camera shoot and get it out live at a fraction of the cost that it used to be possible to do in the past. Um, there's a lot of different uh, setups that we can do with this kit. We can do this kit over IP. Currently we're doing over SDI because we're not actually too far from the control room, so it's nice and easy. Uh, this can actually transmit over 3G or uh, Wi-Fi. It can also um, transmit over uh, CAT6 as well. So we're doing camera control over CAT6, uh, SDI feed back up in, and the system can be IP or can be SDI as well. So this is a, a real hybrid system. Um, the reason for the IP side is in another stadium, we might want to set this camera up on the far side, long cable run or maybe inaccessible. We can run the whole thing remote control over uh, Wi-Fi, over uh, 4G. It's battery powered. We're not even running the power here. So this thing's going to run the whole match on its own battery power. If we run it on IP, we don't have to connect a cable. It can be literally a remote camera sat on its own anywhere in the stadium or multiples of them. So we can have up to six or eight cameras all around the stadium, all around the sports event, all remotely controlled from the central control room. The second part of our system here is our two uh, of the latest uh, JVC. Uh, they're the HM660s. They're fitted with uh, two Genon 
uh, 23x uh, zoom. So these guys here, this guy in particular, he's taking the tight shots, the zoom shots. He can get in really close to the action. This guy here is a bit easier going. He's uh, taking the wide eye shots, and we got a super wide angle lens on as well. So excellent Fujinon lens. Top of the range JVC. These JVCs are IP as well. As I said, we're doing SDI, but we can do IP straight off them as well. So we can give a maximum amount of flexibility in the system, depending on what the terrain or the setup is in whatever uh, event we're working on. So we're up here in the bleachers in Jalan Bazaar. Match is still raging. And uh, here behind me is the commentator's room, and also is where we're doing our live production. So uh, I'm going to have to be a bit quiet because the commentators are in here. So uh, I'm going to send the camera in first, and I'm going to talk from behind so uh, it mightn't disturb the commentators so much. Okay, so what we're looking at here on the uh, computer on the left is actually the server that's running the whole production system. Um, down in front of that server, we've got our uh, audio panel that's just uh, bringing in our um, microphones from our uh, two commentators. And then next over is the main uh, vision mixer and switcher. So here we're taking all the four feeds from the two uh, ENG cameras and the two PTZ cameras. And we can also do our, from here we can do our graphics, we can add our logos, we can add lower thirds, we can add clocks, we can do replay, and we can do slow-mo on the replay, all here, all at the touch of a mouse. Um, so, you know, a very slick operation. Now what we've added on here uh, is a breakout panel. This is a, 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 a optional extra from JVC for a, a better remote control of the PTZ cameras. Uh, and then if we move further along then we can see the Digero unit sitting there. So that Digero unit is taking the final feed out of our live production server and uh, sending the finished feed back to 11 Sports Network Studio um, where they can mix it in with their other camera connected to the Digero down below so we can have uh, um, live interviews uh, or uh, you know remote uh, interviews from around the grounds, interviews with team captains, team players and, and sponsors and so on. So that's a quick look over uh, our new services offering in Ideal Live with the uh, production mixer, the graphics, the replay, the PTZ cameras, the ENG cameras. Like I say, we have it all in the box. We have it all ready to go. Very cost effective, quick to deploy, low number of people to operate and very cost effective with very high production values. So uh, do give us a call. You want to see this in action, you want to test it out. And uh, we will be able to show you some really high quality production sports ability, but we can't guarantee you that they'll score a goal.